Um, this is a, a quick update on the uh, repair procedure for uh, stop ransomware encrypted files. I've, I've made a video of this exact file before, but it was over a year ago, and since then JPEG repair has been updated and updated, and the procedure has changed. It actually uh, became a bit simpler to repair these files, so I'll just go through the steps. Uh, because it's a commonly asked question, I will answer it anyway. Uh, question one is, uh, I have extension ABCD or uh, I have extend, uh, extension XYZ1 uh, or whatever. There are over 100 variants of stop uh, DGVU uh, ransomware and they all come with their own uh, mostly four digit extension this does not matter and also uh, the, the the owner of the photos already tried removing the extension see if it would help him it, it, it didn't uh, so but you can just leave that um, you can uh, tell a JPEG repairer to show files whatever the extension is so you can just feed them to the program and uh, the second um, frequently asked question is i have an online id um, online id or offline id tells us basically where the encryption key is if it's on your local pc or if it's on a server somewhere uh, and since uh, jpeg repair will be repairing the file rather than decrypting it we do not care where this key is so any online key or offline key does not matter for us uh, the ransomware encrypts only part of the file so we're gonna cut off the encrypted part we're gonna take the header from a, a reference file which is a, a file shot with the same camera that is okay and we're going to glue that onto the image data that's basically what we're going to do and we're so that uh, the actual JPEG data can be de decoded again. And these are basically the steps uh, JPEG repair follows. It will ask you for the corrupt file, it will ask you for the reference file, and then we will try to repair it. Um, I'm going to try repairing this one. And this is our reference file. So select the patch tool open the file browser and then browse to the uh, location of the corrupt files mm -mm -mm. this was the one we wanted to repair okay we want the program to prompt us for the reference file so we click the option append header and um, this is new compared to the older versions uh, since the number of bytes that that's encrypted is known we can tell the program straight away to skip those and uh, if you double click it here you'll automatically get the correct value for stop ransomware so select the corrupt file pen header omit, uh, omit the first 150 kilobytes or so Click OK. Uh, the reference file. It asks us for the reference file. We give it the reference file. And then we click Repair. This, under circumstances, this pops up. Just click OK. 99 out of 100 times it does not pop up. And then we see the JPEG data can be decoded using the header we glued on there. Now, since uh, part of the JPEG data is cut off as well, or encrypted, and then we cut it off, the, the image is not properly aligned, and also the uh, color are the colors are not not exactly right because the way a JPEG works is that um, it divides the image. Uh, into little blocks little pieces of eight by eight pixels and for each of these blocks it stores information to 
remember the color and the brightness and, 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 and whatnot. But it does not store the actual value. It uh, stores a delta, so the difference between the previous block and this block. So th this is another way to compress data. So this is something we need to address. This is this has become easier in this newer version of uh, JPEG Repair. Uh, we are missing data, but uh, since we cut it off from the beginning, all data has shifted upwards so that means we have uh, an empty space here um, but the program will normally automatically take care of it this is new we click the MCU editor and then we can tell it try to move the uh, image in the proper position auto align it it's slightly off so we need to delete a few more. And then uh, in the previous version, basically, you needed to load the image in a photo editor to adjust colors. And now we can edit. What the program will do is edit the, 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 this information in the first MCU of the file. And since every following MCU builds on that, if we increase brightness in this particular MCU, the brightness of the entire image will increase. So I think this is what the image needs. It needs a little more brightness. It looks good enough to, uh, to me. Well, and, and if, the, if you would have uh, weird uh, colors, too much red, for example, you can you, you play with this slider. So, but you don't need to use another tool to do that. And now we click OK, and since we the truncate option is automatically uh, ticked, it automatically cut off the unwanted part. I will do one more, and I'll just click through it so you can... We do the other one. Append skip bytes, give it this sample, click repair. <laughs> Wait until it indexed the file. Open the MCU editor. Uh, tell it to try to auto align. It's a couple of MCUs off, so we just do two more manually. And we play with brightness, I guess. And we OK that. And then the file's prepared. Uh, where were we? Here. So here, here are our repaired files. As you can see, the, we're missing about 150 uh, kilobytes per file, which is the encrypted portion, which we cut off. OK, I hope this helps. And um, if you're used to the older versions, you'll see that it has become a lot easier and uh, quicker. So uh, thanks for watching.